Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your Tuesday is going wonderful. Thanks for joining me for Try It Out Tuesday. Today we are going to create a Fall Blessings card for using a stamp set from Spellbinders. This just came out. Um, it is a smaller take on the Martha's Pumpkins. That stamp set was from Fun Snapper's Journey and it was a clear, or uh, not a clear, a red rubber stamp that was super duper popular. They just made it a little bit smaller and in a clear stamp form. The images are slightly different also. If you want to check that out, um, I'll leave a link down below. Martha's Pumpkin does have a coordinating die set. Um, this one, however, doesn't, but it doesn't bother me. I want to do a little fussy cutting. Okay, it, this one's called Charming Pumpkins. I don't know if I told you guys that though. The images in here, there's two solid and then two that you color inable. We're going to grab those two, put them on some alcohol marker friendly cardstock. We'll ink those up with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. We're going to use Copic markers to color in our images. Now I'm going to leave my stamps exactly where they are in my MISTI because I'm going to take my panel after we're done coloring and bring it back to the MISTI and do a little heat embossing. I want a kind of a shiny gloss to my pumpkin so we're going to leave those in there. But I'm going to zoom in, play some music while I color, and when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done. We're going to zoom back out here. Now we're going to bring back our Misty or Stampy Positioner um, and then we're going to go over our image with this time a Versafine ink, which is a sticky ink. Let's bring that back here. Since our image is in the exact same position, we can just put this up in the corner. 
and ink them up. Versafine is a sticky ink and I'm gonna go over it with clear. Um, at this point too, guys, if you wanted to color it and go over it with a gold, I did both. I, I like the boldness of the, the black ink, but a gold ink over the images too would be beautiful. Just ink it up with Versafine. Instead of using a clear embossing powder, go over it with a gold and it creates stunning results also. I'm gonna press down really good. I'll go over my pumpkins with clear embossing powder and then I have my heat gun off to the side we're gonna melt the embossing powder. So it kind of gives a, a, like I said, a bold look. Now I'm gonna use my scissors and we're gonna fussy cut these images out. They're pretty, they're pretty easy, guys. If you have a scan and cut, you could use this. But I'm gonna go ahead and trim them away, leaving a little bit of a white border. And then those images are good to go. Now for my background, or oh, actually, let's stamp our sentiment first. There's three in this stamp set. Now, Martha's Pumpkin stamp set from Fun Stamper's Journey doesn't have any sentiments. So that's the nice thing about the clear stamp set too, is the sentiments. You get um, three of them. You get Fall Blessings, Grateful For You, and Happy Thanksgiving. I chose Fall Blessings for my card. I'm stamping it on some Onyx black um, cardstock and I heat embossed it with white embossing powder. I'm just rubbing away my um, embossing powder tool that I had used to prevent static. Now, I love frames, so I'm gonna be using this set. I haven't used this set in a while. This is the Spellbinders um, Essential Label Set. I'm using the inner three of them to create a frame. The middle die, it looks like a die, but it's actually dotted detail. Um, I use that just because I like the, the blue that we're going to put behind it to, to accent it all around. I'm just trimming away the excess from my sentiment. And I left the, the ends long because we're going to end up fishtail, um, fishtailing those ends. We'll just put these back. I am going to pop up my frame with some foam, foam adhesive. So I'll grab my foam tape roll, cut down some very thin strips. And I'm going to go on the inside of my frame. Now I did go over the bottom edge of the, this is, I die cut out my background with water, uh, waterfall cardstock, but I did use my peacock feathers and did a little ink blending from the bottom halfway up. I skipped that part because by the time I add my pumpkin guys, you could see it. So it was a necessary step. We're going to add foam adhesive behind our piano here. And that's going to go. I also put it behind my sentiment and, and then fishtail at the ends. We're going to use a embossing folder from Spellbinders also. This one here is called Falling Leaves. It has a whole bunch of beautiful fall leaves on there. I die, um, ran that through my die cutting machine so we have a beautiful soft embossed leafy background for our white area. This is a card front panel, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. We just adhered that to our card base. Next, we're gonna remove our release paper from our frame. And then we'll go ahead and put this in the center of our card base. And I told you, like I said, it was it, today's card's a pretty simple card. There's a lot going on. Um, a lot of texture, bold colors. And I love the way it turned out. It really does turn out um, pretty elegant. We're going to add our sentiment on the lower portion of our frame. We're going to pop up our large and our small pumpkin with some foam squares. Large one is going to go to the left here and then we'll overlap slightly to center it in the middle of our frame. And I love the way that turned out. I love the little the teal flowers in the pumpkins. The orange and teal go really good together. I'm going to finish off my card with not much, but I am going to use some diamond stickles over those teal flowers in the center of the pumpkins. And then that finishes off my card for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. This is probably my last fall card. I'm going to start my Christmas series next month, so thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. We will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.